Hey everyone, it's Leon. Today I got me a brand new Rovi uh, 4K dash cam. This is the pro version, okay? So let me just show you. I do have the, the regular 4K version here, but this one right here is the pro version. So um, we're gonna unbox this thing and uh, go out and give it a test and see what is so pro about it versus the other one because literally it looks exactly alike. Anyway, uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get right into it. I did purchase this with my own money. Um, they did not sponsor this video at all. Um, it's just that I have been using this in my car and you know, the footage it comes out fine at night. It, it, you know, it's good, but the pro version came out. So I'm like, why not? Why not upgrade? Okay, so. Accessory box, the tiny little dash cam right here. Let me just show you. Now, the main difference that I saw in this is that it does use a five gigahertz Wi-Fi, which um, really, guys, it's it's only good if you really use your phone or attach your phone to this thing. Um, but most of the time, I don't, to be honest with you. Uh, the important thing for me is the sensor in these dash cam and then, you know, the ability to accept uh, SD cards, which, by the way, uh, looks like they upgraded that one in this. Uh, you can use a 512 gig now instead of just, you know, the uh, regular 256. So you can definitely store a lot more in this one if, if you're willing to get a 512 gig uh, memory card. USB-C still, that's good. The mounting point looks uh, looks kind of the same. The one thing about the Rovi is that it's really easy to use because when you have it mount on your dash like this, you can actually see everything here and see if it's in frame and things like that. So the screen is really nice. You'll be surprised that some of the uh, dash cam out there miss this feature where it's only a dash cam and you have to use your phone in order to frame it to make sure that you know you have everything in view. So really good here that they kept that the same. All right, so let's see what the accessory box has. So a lot of uh, clip tied to tie your cable down. These really, really long USB-C to USB-A cables. These things right here, uh, I didn't know what it was the first time I unboxed this. Uh, the other one, it's pretty much to uh, tuck all your wires in, in your car. It's really useful. Here's the mount where you just literally just stick this thing on your windshield and then snap this on. Makes it real easy. Oh, well, here's a suction one too. So they give you two types of mounts. That's nice of them. And uh, if you have a cigarette lighter adapter, you can use this one right here, which has two USB ports. So before I uh, go out there and install this and do a road test, let's take a look at how good the screen is. Recording started. Hmm, it just, recording just automatically starts because um, I think I'm holding it, so it feels there's different motion, so it starts recording right away. Kind of like if uh, the car is moving, it just starts your recording. Video setting, uh, resolution. We're gonna go in and we're gonna do, uh, you, you can do, it's default at 2K at 60 right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and bump that up to 4K at 30 FPS, okay? Okay guys, so what I'm, Hey guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, use this uh, suction cup right here in order to attach this. Pretty easy on this end right here where you just kind of right there and you just snap it in that way. Now you can turn it however you want. 